Today's topic is coffee. Should you be drinking coffee? All right, 75% of the uh, people over 20 in the United States drink coffee and we consume a lot of coffee. So as this article states, are there grounds for concern because of our coffee consumption? Well, here's what the studies show. Benefits of coffee, lowering risk of Parkinson's disease, reduced risk of prostate cancer, reduced risk of liver cancer, decreased type 2 diabetes risk, protects against cirrhosis, decreases risk of depression in women, reduces mortality. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So coffee and all causes of mortality de uh, risk, here's what we found. What's going to be beneficial? A little bit or a little more? One cup of coffee decreased death, mortality this much, two this much, four this much. So the maximum benefit seems to be four cups. Now, that's not true for everybody, but I say it, it, it definitely has some benefits. Here's another article, habitual coffee consumption benefits for diabetes, heart disease, depression, Alzheimer's disease. Another study, less Parkinson's disease among coffee consumers and those who have Parkinson's have less symptoms. Can coffee make you lift more weight? I'm stretching it here, right? No, I'm not. Stronger squat ability when you drink coffee. Can it make you run faster? How about taking six seconds off your mile run? Now for runners, that is very significant. And I could go on and on. How about this? Decreases problems with premature ejaculation. Now I don't know how that works or where that comes in, but my advice, enjoy your Joe, but drink it black. This is Dr. Pat for the Seven Systems Plan.